in this video we're going to be taking a look at an alternative method to find the vector cross product which is by using the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix so I'll show you a generic example first and then I'll show you an actual example with two vectors uh, I'll timestamp both of these below so if you just want to see the example you can skip through to that if it is useful then please do like and subscribe okay so let's look at something that we're already familiar with then so if we've got two uh, generic vectors a and b as you can see here then the cross product of the two, so A cross B, uh, gives us this third vector here, okay, which happens to be perpendicular to both A and B. Now, you can use this and to find A cross B, but it is a bit fiddly, like you have to find each of the elements, substitute them in, and then calculate it. There is an alternative way we can do this, which is by finding the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix, and I'll show you what that matrix is. So, an alternative way to calculate A cross B is by finding the determinant of this following matrix where the top row okay is our unit vectors i j and k so i j and k unit vectors the second row is the elements of our vector a so it's a1 a2 a3 and the third row is the elements of b so b1 b2 and b3 let's now calculate this determinant so it's going to be i multiplied by the determinant of a2 a3 b2 b3 minus remember minus j multiplied by the determinant of a1 a3 b1 b3 plus our k multiplied by the determinant of a1 a2 b1 b2 let's now calculate this so we're going to get i multiplied by a2 b3 minus uh, a3 b2 minus j uh, multiplied by a1 b3 minus a3 b1 plus k multiplied by a1 b2 minus a2 b1 okay now what i'm going to do is actually distribute this negative inside this bracket okay uh, because then it will make it look a lot more like the original thing we're used to so this is going to stay the exact same so i'll just copy that down I'm then going to distribute this negative inside so it's going to become plus j multiplied by a3b1 minus a1b3 and this final term is going to remain exactly the same like so. Now let's check that this is the same thing so we've got a2b3 minus a3b2 that checks out that looks pretty good. We've then got a3b1 minus a1b3 that is also correct and then a1b2 minus a2b1 perfect so this is an alternative way of calculating the cross product so let's have a look at an example here so we've got two vectors a and b and we need to calculate a cross b so we know a cross b is equal to the determinant of the following uh, matrix so it's going to be whoops i that's not right i j and k then three four seven and one negative three five so we're going to get i multiplied by the determinant of 4, 7, negative 3, 5 minus j multiplied by the determinant of 3, 7, 1, 5 plus k multiplied by the determinant of 3, 4, 1, negative 3. So we get i multiplied by 20 subtract uh, 21, so plus 21 minus j multiplied by 15 subtract 7 plus k multiplied by negative 9 subtract 4. Remember don't forget to distribute this negative um, in this second term so we're going to get 41i then what is inside this bracket here well that's going to become uh, 8 but it's going to be negative 8 because I'm distributing that negative so it's negative 8 uh, J and then finally minus 13 K so we could actually write a cross B as the following vector 41 negative 8 negative 13 and if you want you could calculate uh, this vector dotted with a and then this vector dotted with B and check they both equal 0 which they should do so hopefully this video was useful uh, if it was please do like and subscribe and go over to my channel where there are tons of other maths tutorials thanks for watching